Hi, I'm Joe Rotella, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble this adorable Mushroom House card. Let's get started. Lay the card base out flat so it's not folded. It's a lot easier to work with it flat. First, we're going to adhere some grass as the first layer of the card. Now, you want to make sure when you put this on that the grass doesn't make the card any wider than four and a quarter inches because then it won't fit in an A2 sized envelope. So only put the adhesive where it's going to touch that card base. I'm using a ruler there to kind of make sure that I stay inside that four and a quarter boundary. Next, we're going to adhere the underside and so it should line up just perfectly with the contour of the card. I like using a liquid adhesive because if I don't get it quite right I can slide it around a bit before it's really fixed. Now we're going to adhere the stem. You don't really need that much adhesive. Just a little bit around the edges and some in the middle. And again, it should line up with the contour of the card just perfectly. Now we'll adhere the cap to the top of the card. Now you'll see that the cap extends a little bit further than the score line, so you don't want to put any adhesive way at the top of the cap. Stick to about a half inch at least below the top. And again, it should line up perfect with the contour of the card. Now we'll adhere the spots to the cap. Two of the spots are designed to align right with the contour of the card, but they don't have to. Every mushroom is different. You can put the spots anywhere you'd like. I kind of like to start with the big spots first, get those on the cap, and then fill it in with all the little ones. Every mushroom will be different, so don't worry too much about where you place the spots. I think this would look great if the spots were cut out, maybe with glitter paper? Something to really make it sparkle. And you can see where the fold is and how we didn't put any adhesive at that top part of the cap. Next we'll work on the window frames, and we're going to adhere the background of the frame to the front of the frame. Line them up first so you know roughly how it goes, and then again with a liquid adhesive you can move it around a little bit. If you want to take your card up a notch, instead of a black background, consider printing out the inside of a house, like a living room or a kitchen, and using that instead of the black. Because then, when you look in the windows, you'd actually be seeing inside the house. Now, it doesn't take that much adhesive. That's not a very big space. So, be a little stingy there on the adhesive. And of course, it'll dry clear. Now, we're going to attach the windows to the stem. Once we have the windows on, we can start to work on the door. Now, I did a flat door here, but you could always take that door and weld a rectangle to the side of it and make a hinge, and the door could even open and close based on that hinge. But I kept it flat here. I'm just going to put it on the frame and then attach the whole thing to the card. Now to add some details to the card, we can draw the gills on the underside of the mushroom. And so I'm using a very fine marker to just draw some of those lines. You know, that's the fleshy part underneath a mushroom cap. I think that little bit of detail really adds a lot to the card. And similarly, we can make the door look like it's made of strips of wood. I'm just using a pencil there to draw some vertical lines. If you had a stamp of wood grain, that would work great here. Of course, you'd stamp it before you attached it to the frame. Then lastly, we're going to put a couple more pieces of grass on the stem. I like to use a pop dot. If they're too big, just trim them. And put that grass on the front of the card. It adds a really great dimension to the whole project. So you could always add flowers, vines, you could do scroll work on the card, some hearts, however you imagine your little mushroom house. And there we have it, our mushroom house card. I hope you enjoyed assembling this cute mushroom house card. You know, you could even mount this on a scrapbook page and make a little hidden compartment, or just 
cut it right at the fold line and use it as an embellishment on another project. Happy crafting!